Hey everybody, Jay Mannion here at the NPC Photo Gym in Pittsburgh. And I am here with the one, the only, Jenny from the block, Jenny Worth. Hi. So I thought that Jenny had been to the gym before, but apparently she hadn't. She's been to Pittsburgh before, several times. But this is the first time at the actual NPC Photo Gym. That's correct. What do you think, just looking around? It's awesome. You guys have incredible back machines. Like I'm looking at all of them, I'm like, wow, they got everything. We need to grow. I'm laughing more. because someone else, <laughs> someone else said the same thing. One of the other competitors so that was here doing the road that he are was like, wow, the back machines here are incredible. I guess we're spoiled because we see it every day. Yeah. You know, but as I said, Jenny is on her road to the Arnold. Now, Jenny, when was the last time you competed in the Arnold? 2002. Okay. Wow. That's how many years? 18. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to bring this up. The list came out. You weren't on it. No. What happened from there? Um, from there, I... Actually, I reached, I told, reached out to Dan Solomon. He was like, always tell him happy birthday every year. And I'm like, happy birthday. He goes, happy birthday. Thank you. He goes, what, what's going on with you? I'm like, oh, nothing. I'm like, I, he goes, when, when will I see you again? I said, well, I'm not sure because I put in for the Arnold invite and I didn't get it. And I said, I may do the Tampa. I'm not quite sure yet. I'm just trying to figure this out. And he goes, what do you mean you weren't on the list? I said, I applied, but I waited until the very last day because my mom passed and I just didn't think I was mentally strong enough to go through it. So I really didn't think about it. I was like, whatever, I didn't get on it. That's fine. I probably wait till the last minute anyways because I don't want to go through it. And then he said, what do you, didn't, what, how long ago did you win? And I told him, and he goes, wait a second. Tell them how long ago you won it. So I won in 2001, okay? That was 19 years ago. That's more than some of y'all are old competing. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so he said, let me get back to you. And all of a sudden, next thing you know, the next day I got a phone call from um, Jim, Bob, and he said, Bob Marmer. Bob Marmer. And he said, uh, can you contact me when you get a minute? And I was like, oh no, is this bad or good? So he told me, you are officially invited. Sorry, we overlooked your application. And he said, because of you, we're going to start a new policy that every past winner will be allowed to compete in the Arnold. Oh, good. So it's so like, like the Olympics. You're welcome, guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. That's, that's great for everybody. Yes. Yeah. Wow. So I know a lot of you are, back, are sitting there right now calculating in your head, trying to figure out how old Jenny is. So, I, and I don't think it should be a secret. I think it's great. Jenny, tell them how old you are. I am 42. I'll be 43 in May. Okay. And you started competing at how old? 17. And I met you when you were 18. I just turned 18. Yes. Yeah. yeah. She was really Jenny from the block back then. DJ. Tallahassee. Yeah. <laughs> she had the... The, I don't want to say craziest, because they weren't crazy, but they were the most innovative, innovative routines back at the time. There was no one doing what, what she was doing. She was using props before there were props allowed. <laughs> that's correct. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's, that's, and that has been a big thing of your career, is you use a lot of different props. Mm -hmm. Be it a full-size Harley Davidson, <laughs> to uh, everything. What made you start using props? Well, actually, I think I was at the 1996, I think it was the Team Universe or in, in New York, and there was a chair backstage, and I said, hey, can I use that on stage? And they were like, yeah. So that's where I used my first prop. As I took that chair, I was like, man, I could do some tricks on that, make this routine a little bit more. That's before I really practiced, practiced, practiced them, you know, and got them right. So I took that chair and I put it on stage and it worked out perfect, you know? I had a, I had a chair, I had a prop, I had doing some tricks. And then that just got the whole prop thing going. Yeah. Yeah. So, no, Jenny, the last time you competed was what year? 2003. So from 2003, you came back when? 2017. And the reason you came back, I know the reason why, because you were doing a guest posing, right? And you did the guest posing, and you thought to yourself, hmm, I can still do this, right? So give us a little bit of uh, your mindset going into that. So I originally just uh, did the guest performance, and um, I kept seeing Tim, and he's like, you need to compete again, you need to compete again. And I'm like, oh, I just, I really don't have the routine to compete, because it was slow, I was baby and my back problems you know um, I hadn't been training as 
building, you know. So I just got really lean. And um, when I went to the Tampa, I just was doing it just to see how it would go. You know, and because I took third next to Mimi and Bethany, I was like, wow, maybe I do have a chance at this. So I took it on. I took it on seriously. I hired Milos to grow my back out because I talked to Tyler after the show. That's uh, IFPB Pro Milos Sarsev. Yes. And um, they said, grow your back out. And so I went on the mission to do that. And I worked with Oxana on my routine because, as you know, back in the day, I only knew to flip. It's just like, that's what I did. Flip, 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 flip. Because I can't flip like I used to because of my back. I said, I have to get in this new generation. And so I got with Oxana. And she helped me with the new push-ups and all the new stuff that happens now if you can't flip. So I got on board with that, and uh, she helped me with that, and I came up with a better routine. And I worked on my body, and um, I ended up winning the Tampa the following year, and which took me back to the Olympia, and that's what I was trying to do. And so I was very proud of that, and um, I you kept went, going. Yeah. Didn't. Now, something I didn't realize that you told me last year was the Tampa is the only contest that you've won back-to-back. -back. Yeah, ever in my history. So 2018, 2019, and possibly 2020. Are you going to go for the 3P? Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, people are going, okay, 2002. What did you do in the meantime? Give the people an idea of what so, was going on. In the meantime, I was living in Miami, and I was training a bunch of celebrities, and I was DJing. I just kind of like... My heart wasn't in it anymore, and I just kind of like lost lost it. And then I got into DJing and kind of got sidetracked in the in the South Beach scene, you know, going out all the time. And I got pregnant, and I um, had the love of my life, my son, and that put me back on a straight path. And I moved out to California to try to make it work with baby's daddy, but I didn't. So now I'm out here in California. I have no family. I have no Southern one. Southern California. Southern California. I have my son. I moved out there with five dollars in my pocket. I sold everything, and I'm like, now I have to figure out what I'm going to do. So, as you know, what always happens is you go back to where your roots are. And I started helping competitors, and I was like, wow, I really miss this. This is like where my heart is. I've been doing this since I was 17. This is what kept me out of trouble, and this is what continues to keep me out of trouble. So I went back to it. And from there, I just was in it, you know, and then I, my boyfriend at the time, he was a competitor and I was like, the reason why I did, it, I was like, let me just show you how to do this real quick. Dieting's easy. So I took it on with him and I just got in really good shape. And I was like, you know what? I love this. Like, this is, this is me. This keeps me straight. This keeps me on a good path. And I took it on and I made a business out in California. So I took nothing. And made into something and well let's tell them what the business is also so i have worth it fitness i have a bunch of uh, worth it warriors i train clients i have genergy jump it's uh jump boots kango jumps rebound training and um i get competitors ready for competitions now i remember running into you at the npc usa championships we hadn't seen or talked to you for probably a decade at least right and you were like, hey, I have this idea. Let me run it by you. What do you think of me coming back? And I was, and I'll be honest, I was a little skeptical at first. And you're like, well, I'm going to be doing this guest posing first. And I'm like, okay, see how the guest posing goes. See how everything, you know, goes. And then I saw the, I saw the, there was actually a film of someone had posted it online. I'm like, oh, wow, Jenny still has it. So I, I know we talked and you're like, hey, I'm like really serious. And knowing Jenny since she was a teenager, I know when she puts her mind to something, that is it. So I kind of knew there was no way to stop her. <laughs> Once she got the taste again and she did the routine, and for a guest posing routine, she did a routine that she would have done in the Arnold or the Olympia. It just wasn't some thrown together thing to come out there for two minutes. Hey, everybody. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she went, she went all out on this. And uh, I think it's great. I mean, I think it's a great comeback story. Uh, I mean, you've come back, you've had adversity, you came back, you're a mom, you're a working mom, you're a single mom, you've, been, you've become successful, you've come back, you've, you're in the winner circle, you're back on the Arnold stage, you've been on the Olympia stage again. I mean, did you ever think at this stage of your life that you would be doing all this again? Mm -mm, never. But do you love it? I love it. And this time around, being that I'm older, I can really just sit back and appreciate everything because sometimes when you're younger, you really just don't appreciate and like I'm 
I appreciate every moment. I'm here because I want to be in the moment because it's not going to last forever, you know. So I want to really live in the moment and it, appreciate everything and be backstage and, and see everyone and just like at the Olympia, um, when we're at the Olympia, uh, what's it called? The, um, what, the Meet the Olympians? The Meet the Olymp when we're on stage. Oh, yeah. So I at felt the, like the, a at lot the of... Judging. At the um, No, no. The, um, the... Whenever they, we did the seminar. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, so when I got asked to do that, and I just felt like a lot of the competitors, they were there on their phones. They were, I was just like, wow, you guys need to like be in the moment. You know, like you're not even like listening to what that competitor has to say. And I just, as with age, I've learned that and just really appreciate everyone and don't try to be judgmental and just, you know, everyone has problems and everyone has issues and just, I just try to enjoy it this time around. Right. Yeah. But it also just goes to show that age is just a number. Yes. Right? So how do you think the 19-year-old Jenny Worth would fare against the current Jenny Worth? Hmm. Well, I think I, I beat myself. Um, then my younger self. Um, it's a lot of more, it's a lot of hard work these days, you know, to try to keep the skin tight. You know, there's a lot of other things you got to do at this age to stay up with that. But yeah, I, I would make, I would give the 19 year old Jenny a run for her money. I like that. I like that. <laughs> I like that for sure. All right. So as I said, Jenny from the block, we've always talked about that. Let's just dive digress for a minute. Did you watch the Super Bowl? Yes. What did you think of the halftime show? I thought it was With Jennifer awesome. Lopez and Shakira. I thought it was incredible. Like those so you weren't offended like half of America seems to be? I'd be offended for what? <laughs> okay. You know, it's like Shakira came out and she was like lit. You know, she did the talent. She had the, the, um, the singing, the, the guitar, the, the drums. Shakira, who's your age? Yeah, she's my age. And she looked 20. And J-Lo comes out at 50 and she looks 40. And J-Lo is the, she brings the show you know so they both it's like judging a fitness routine they're both good you know it's just like what do you what do you like for the day do you like apples or do you like strawberries but they're both good you know <laughs> so i felt like they both and them together i thought it was fire i just don't understand why everybody's being so judgmental it's like why don't you why don't you step back and try to do that at your age, at her age you know so right. i just i really enjoyed it i thought it was incredible those two did incredible j-lo looks awesome shakira looks awesome it's like they're moms you know and they're doing this right exactly exactly all right, so we know you have your plans for the Arnold. We know you're going to go for the three-peat in Tampa. Your goal is to get back on the Olympia stage. Is there anything else that you have planned for this year? I mean, not like that's not enough. <laughs> I don't think so. Not that I could think of. Right at the now. moment, at, at the, the moment. moment. <laughs> at the moment. Well, good. Well, listen, everybody, make sure that you come see Jenny at the Meet the Athletes on Thursday night in Columbus. Okay, especially those of you that need to be inspired or are inspired, you know, doesn't matter, men, women, parents, not parents, whatever, you can talk to her about all of the things that she's gone through and the things that she's still doing now. So is there anybody that you want to give a shout out to or thanks to? I mean, I know Milos, but anybody else? Milos, I'd like to give a shout out to all my clients. Thank you for being so supportive and being there for me and guiding me along the way and my family and my sister and um i'm gonna dedicate this show to my mom because she passed in november and so yeah and i think that's about it all right well jay Mannion. jenny Ward. we will see you in columbus hi guys so if you want to follow me on social media i am at worth it fitness and i am on facebook at jenny worth fitness and you can follow my journey there along with see all my competitors and see all of our fun cardio sessions and the training. So come along and join me on my journey to get fit.